Is it me that plugged in? Hmm? Is the mic plugged in? Oh, probably not. I doubt it. Okay. We're good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, let me call this meeting to order. This is the July meeting for the Ballot Lance County Zoning Board of Appeals. The way we operate, I will call each case by case name and case number. Staff will come to the lectern. They will present the case to us. Once they have presented the case, there will possibly be discussions and or questions from the board to staff or among board members. Once we have decided that we have heard the case and understand the case, I will then ask if there are any persons here, specifically the applicant or somebody representing the applicant might want to come to the lectern, give us any additional information. If you'd like to give us some additional information, Please come to the lectern, give us your name and address for the record, and whatever information you want us to take under advisement. Once you have given us that information, there will possibly be questions or discussions. Once we're satisfied that we have heard that part of it, I'll ask if there are any other persons that may be in support. If you are in support and the case has been presented to your satisfaction, we just would like to know you're here. If you feel like something has not been brought, excuse <coughs> me, something to our attention, please come to the lecture, give us your name and address, give us the information you'd like for us to take under advice. I will then ask if there are any persons here that may be in opposition or have questions about what is being requested. If so, please come to the lecture, give us your name and address for the record and the information you would like for us to take under advice. Once we have heard from both sides, we normally render a decision here today. However, it is in the bylaws. If we feel like information is lacking or parties need to talk, we can postpone action until the next regularly scheduled meeting. Uh, if you have not signed in in the back on the table on the sheet, please do so so we'll have a record of your attendance. The first case that we'll call is Lowndes County Case BAR 2016-08, Kelly Joe Suffield, 2461 Sim Street, Valdosta. Good afternoon, Zoning Board Appeals. Hope everybody had a good day. No sunburn, baby. <laughs> well, our one and only case um, before you this afternoon is a county case. Um, is there a variance request by Ms. Kelly Joe Suffield? She's requesting a variance to the standards for non-conforming structures in a nutshell, chapter 9.01.01c says in the case where a dwelling or home is to be replaced, the replacement must be completed within one year from the previous dwelling's home or removal. Ms. Kelly's um, sister owns such a property, which consists of about eight acres. It is owned both uh, R10, which is a single family residential classification, as well back portion or the rear portion has conservation zoning because they back up to the um, award system, award of the way, I should say. Um, it's her desire to add a dwelling to the property. There's currently two dwellings on the property, one in which her sister who owns the property there, and the other is a manufactured home in which their mother lives. Ms. Kelly would like to move on, single wide move on to this property to help take care of her mother. It's been about two years since there was once a single wide there, um, and she just missed the time frame in which to place that home at single wide or another single wide. So she's requesting a variance so that she can place a single wide where there once was a single wide. In your room, um, try to get some pictures. It's, it's a big piece of property into the room. I, I believe there's an existing septic system in place. Um, the well is in place. Uh, the spot is just going to be waiting on. Okay. Um, Anything else? <coughs> any questions, any discussion from the board at this time? Talking about well and septic now, they're going to share one well 
for all three parcels? No, no sir. Um, or all three houses? No, sir. My sister that lives on the very end right there, she has her own one. Hang on a minute. I'm sorry. Uh, if this is something that she's going to do, does anybody have any questions or discussions or comments? Okay, if you would please come to the yes. lecture and get your name and address for the okay. record, and I'll ask the question again. Okay. My name is Kelly Joseph Hill. My address is 2616 Douglas Avenue. Okay. Um, the mobile home that my sister resides in, Daniel K. Gallingham, has its own well and septic tank. Okay. Um, the 2461 address will share the well, but it has its own septic. Uh, the well that was that was only going to be shared by the single mobile home, which my mother resides in, in the mining water, and I will share it. That's the only thing that will be shared. Okay. We'll have our own septic. I'm sure with eight acres, there's enough room to put, or if they have to put another septic tank, but the health department has looked at this and signed off. Yes. Okay. Yes, Just warn that on the record. Um, I, if you would like to see the location of closer, I'm to pictures of the property of where I would like to. Sure, the pass them around. Okay. Um, this is here. Um, and this is the one single one that sits there already on the land. And this is the end of something on the land. Um, this is, um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, this is the trailer my sister lives in here. And these are some other single ones that are in the neighborhood here. Um, there's one, we couldn't get a clear shot because as you can tell, it's, the area is very dense. And when you come up through, when you get back to our area, it's a very clean area. We, we like to keep our property clean. There's another single one there. Okay. Thank you. Yes, um, my mother has Parkinson's and uh, she requires 24 hours. As a family, we can't provide that service for her money wise. But as far as people being there, that provides that service for her. Um, my father passed away June 5th. Um, too late, I wasn't able to put this there before he passed away because that's what we were trying to do. Get it there so we could bring him home, but he died before that. So I don't want the same thing to happen to my mom. I just want to be there so I can help. My sister lost her husband a year ago and half to cancer. Uh, she has to work. She's a litter. She has to work. I'm the only one that does not work. However, um, I can only afford a single wife because I'm disabled myself. I can't afford a seventy or eighty thousand dollar home, you know, to put there. I can afford a thirty thousand, you know, thousand dollar home because that's in my payment range. So I really would appreciate it if y'all allowed me this opportunity to be a homeowner. Thank okay. you very much. Any questions, any discussions from anybody on the board? Is anyone here in support of this application? Is anyone here in opposition or is anyone here that has any questions about what's being presented? Was there any contact to your office, Carmel? There was a call um, more for inquiring so no. Okay. Any other questions or discussions? Sure, I forgot to mention that staff did recommend approval uh, yeah. of the parents. Saw that in the report. Oh, thank you. Okay. If there's no other discussion, could I entertain a motion on this request? I'll make a motion to approve the yes. variance um, citing criteria D. I have a motion for Mr. Alvarado to grant the request as presented citing criteria D. Second. Second. Foreman, all in favor, raise a hand. Unanimous. Good luck with it. Hope everything works to your advantage. Thank you so much. <coughs> Thank you. 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 Okay. Uh, minutes. I did. Sorry. I did place some um, updated minutes on your desk after I sent them out yesterday. Late last week, I didn't realize that there was an error. I listed Matt as being present in class of my city, and he was not. So I checked out and deleted that to have the updated version on your desk. Satrina, okay, Satrina and Gretchen, you have yours in your own Okay. Anybody have a problem with minutes or couldn't we accept them? We have a motion. I have a motion to approve the minutes. Alvarado made a motion to accept the minutes as presented. Second. I second. I have a second. All in favor, raise a hand. 
unanimous. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I guess we need some enlightenment as to what we're going to discuss with the Green Meadow, Mr. Bennett. If you remember in September of last year, specifically on the second, I'll approach the podium. On the second of September of last year, Mr. Bennett approached the board wanting some variances for a porch, um, specifically as an entry on the front door center. It was denied. The reason why we put this on the docket for discussion is two part. He has built it, he's got a pool, he's built a pool enclosure. He came in, purchased a permit earlier this year, and we gave him a zoning approval letter. For those of you who don't know what a zoning approval letter, it lists the address, it lists the contractor, it lists what they're doing, whether it be an addition, a new pool, an accessory structure, things of that nature, and it lists what the appropriate setbacks are. We listed what he was doing, the pool enclosure, which is like a screen in the corner room, type of room, and listed what the setbacks were. He brought his permit, and during the inspection process, we found out that when the permit cards were issued, the permit card inadvertently flipped the side yard and rear yard setbacks. So he was building according to his permit, but the permit was issued in error, if that makes sense. So he is currently approaching on the rear yard setbacks. He has stopped construction. Um, he needs a variance. He would like to address, he, would, he wants to know from the board, he needs permission to come back because he has a variance that was denied less than a year ago. It's not the same thing. Right, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. Unfortunately, Matt and I looked at the regulations <coughs> and it says any variance modification. Surprised us too. Surprised me. <laughs> Surprised us as well. And the way it states, both Matt and I interpreted it as any variance application regarding whether it's regarding fence height or setbacks or impervious cap or any variance application. If one was denied, regardless of what it was for, we can't take another one within a year unless the EPA deems such and such If you do, I'm in a motion one way or the other. Um, He's not coming back to us about the front porch. He's coming right. back to us about the, what's going on. Right. His his quarter room his screened in porch. And it's wrong not because of him, but because of the clerk. Correct. Yes. But is that the case? Because would he not have had the plans before and then no. what they were? Not with not with the Houses, we they don't need to turn in a site plan, they don't need to turn in any sort of Permit for a house for the addition, and I, I we understand. We understand, but they just need to come in and get that zoning approval letter for the whole house, for the garage addition, for the cardboard addition, for the room addition. They go down the permits and purchase their car. Um, with no site plan. Okay. Or, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. While they're under construction, aren't they required to stay? You know, the setbacks. They're required to stay at their property. I do not know if that, I don't think they're required to state their setbacks, but I do know that they're required, they're supposed to state their properties. Okay, because this was a clerical error. I just need to get my is this not something that could be somehow handled administratively because it was a clerical error, or is that not a lack? Matt felt more comfortable referring it to ZBOA because they weren't stimulating circumstances. Okay. And I'm sorry, I didn't realize Kate was sitting. Huh? Do you have any hard setbacks saying? Okay. Uh, the choice is either to say it's okay, submit it for the next cycle if, he, if that's the option. They submit it, he submits it on July the 25th, it'll come on September's CBOA docket. Otherwise, he can't submit it until after 
the date of the public hearing, which is September the second. So if he submits it September by the September fifth cycle, that will put him on November twelfth. How did he? How, how was this discovered that there was an error? To my knowledge, and Ted might be able to verify, I believe it was discovered during some sort of inspection or something. The, the inspectors found that the setbacks he had exceeded the setbacks. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But regardless, somebody said, hey, we got a problem, and they went measured and said, yeah, we do have a problem. Whatever transpired with the um, Torco, whatever it was, the thing that was. He said since variance was denied, he was required to come into compliance, and he did. He shortened his Torco. He tore it off back to the, to the yeah. limit. Sure. This was the one that also had an issue with the engineering department, right? They had cut a curb cut, a second curb cut that wasn't allowed, or not approved. Or... I don't know about that. He, he did some work inside that was beyond the scope of the permit. And, and we did have a neighbor complaint. <coughs> That's how we knew about the rear porch. How about the rear porch, right? Yes, it is pool. Yeah, pool porch, yeah. So the neighbor complained. That they were complaining that somebody went out there and looked at it. Just, um, okay, so the choice is right now. Does it look pretty good? We, can, we can't bring anything today right, because it hasn't been advertised. Right. Well, we can but say we have we'll to take vote, it we have on to, the shorter side. Right. We have to vote on whether to let him come, come back, back. Or to that in less than a year. And it's a couple of months to do. September versus you know, Well, we'd love people to come back. Come back, we'll all come back on the sign. Yeah. Well, I've, I've been operating all these years since it was redesigned or redrafted uh, that you couldn't bring back the same request. And I, I can have that, that blurb from the LDR available for y'all next month, but it says in, in that we can't take any application for any variance if the one has been denied in the interaction. So well, what can you do? Yes. Well, one more thing. <coughs> the question is, can Will we allow him to ask for another variance? And the only options we got is yes and no. Correct? Well, when can he come back with a variance? To, to request the variance. Well, when can he come back? When can he submit his application? Can he submit it before September the second? Or are you going to hold him to the regulations that says he can't do it until after September? Oh, have and you let him come back? It wasn't his fault that they right. wrote it back and got words on the permit. I mean, I would say no. If he, if he was wanting to make his pool and do it out of bounds, but yes, because it wasn't his fault. Any other discussion? I want to make a motion to allow him to do it. I have a motion to allow him to come back. I have a motion. Dr. second. The train is second. All in favor, raise a hand. All opposed? Well, it's 3 2. Motion passes. Okay. Anything else we need to talk about? New business, old business? Um, I'm the county commission is supposed to consider Paul's um, appointment, and we have Matt on the next, probably August um, agenda. So things are moving, moving forward. We have one application so far for the two spaces that are going to be open for the city. We do have an attorney that's applied and Nancy is interested, so she's got the application and will hopefully apply to it. Okay. Awesome. What's the closing date for that? <coughs> I think it's the 15th of August. It will be considered at the second council meeting in August. So if another attorney was maybe interested, 
Okay, any other business, any other discussions? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your service. We are adjourned. Thank you very much for your service. Right now. Paul, how are they doing on the construction with the ladies? Oh, the factor? Yeah, that was Christy Harrell. Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, we, we, had a in there. we had a plumber in there today. I mean, we did, and she had a plumber in there today. And, uh, she said there's, he said that they're supposed to be wrapping up. I think they're trying to move in some This weekend. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Thank you. 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 Thank you.